What's up guys, Apple Watch World here. So before I actually start talking about the new iPad Pros, the new iPad Pro 10 and stuff, I wanna show you something that I got. Now it's someone that I wanna introduce you, and he's right behind this computer. Are you ready? Three, oh, never mind. He's right here. This is my new puppy, I got her for my birthday, and her name is Apple, and she doesn't stop biting me, but she's the cutest thing ever. Um, Apple, welcome. Um, Apple, you wanna look there? Apple, this is, this is the Apple Watch Pro family. Um, uh, you're gonna see me doing a lot of videos. Um, nice. So anyways, that is it for my puppy. I just wanted to show you Apple. She's like literally the cutest thing ever. So anyways, let's start talking about the new iPad Pro 10 or 2018. Let's just call it iPad Pro 10 for now. So anyways, this is everything that you have to know about the all new upcoming iPad Pro 10. So the most recent iPad Pro 10.5 inch models were released in June 5th of 2017. So now these iPads are amazing. I truly use my iPad Pro 10.5 inch. It's amazing. But Apple is going to do some serious innovations, kind of, in this new upcoming iPad. So rumors say that the iPad Pro 10 is going to be released in WWDC in 2018. So the upcoming iPad 10 will actually have the same design, or that's what the rumors say, same design as the new iPhone 10. So it will have slimmer edges, which is gonna look beautiful. It's also rumored to have a faster processor, a custom Apple built GPU, and a built-in support for Face ID. So yes, the home button is rumored to go away. So yeah, this new iPad will be unlocked via Face ID. So yes, Apple will get rid of the home button and touch ID. To be honest, now that I've had my iPhone 10 for a while, I can't go back to having a home button. It's so easy to just swipe up to go to the home screen and all the new gestures in the iPhone 10. It honestly, it honestly works perfect. Now, as I said, I also have my iPad Pro 10.5 inch and when I press the home button, it literally feels old fashioned. It's just so much better to just gestures. Um, if you have the iPhone 10, you understand me. And if you don't, sorry. Now the new iPhone 10 has an OLED screen that is in fact built by Samsung. Now this is a beautiful display, but rumors are saying that the new iPad Pro 10 will actually not have an OLED screen because first, it's really expensive and second of all, it's really battery, it, it consumes a lot of battery. So that into an iPad, I don't think the technology today and days is not ready for it. But I guess we'll have to wait and see, maybe technology truly evolves during this year, but we'll have to wait and see. Rumors are also saying that this new iPad Pro 10 will actually be faster. Now, of course, with every new iPhone, with every new iPod, with every new iPad, with every new Mac, they always get faster. But really, this iPad Pro, the one that I have, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, is insanely fast. Like, I don't think we need this much speed on an iPad. Uh, we don't really game on it, like hardcore game on it. We don't really do hardcore video editing on an iPad. So I don't know why it would get faster. I mean, I'm okay with going faster, but why? So that's pretty much it for all the rumors. Now, what would I want in this new iPad Pro? I would seriously love if this new iPad would have more productivity features. I love working on my iPad because the iPad is so portable. You can take it anywhere, put it in your backpack, put it in your purse, whatever you have. It's great to work on the iPad, but it's not the same as working with your Mac. Working with your Mac, I guess it's just more convenient. The, the software in the Mac is just so much better to work with. Now, Apple, you really did a good job with iOS 11. I literally worked so much on my iPad, multitasking, Apple Pencil features and stuff. It's great. iOS 11 really changed the game with me and my iPad Pro and for a lot of users. So Apple, keep adding these features because these small features really make this iPad Pro amazing. Now Apple, instead of making the iPad Pro faster, instead of making it more powerful, try to focus more on battery because in my iPad Pro, if I really use it throughout the day, it, the battery just goes away. So Apple, try to focus a little bit more on the battery than on the speed. I mean, if you can do both, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely down for that. I would also love this iPad to have USB-C. Like this, we could have USB-C dongles and that stuff. USB-C, in my opinion, is the future of all ports. So with USB-C, we could actually import files. So Apple, please add a better file management on the new iPad or on all iPads. Um, you added the Files app on the iPad. It's okay. I really think it should much, much, it should really get much better. And finally, um, I don't think this is gonna happen, but I can dream, right? Apple, can you please add Final Cut Pro to the iPad? It would be really awesome. Um, literally, that's all I need on my iPad. Um, I work so much in this because I have Final Cut. 
and other stuff, but let's not get on that. Final Cut is really a necessity for me whenever I get traveling. I, I, I need it. I need Final Cut to edit my videos and all that stuff. So Apple, add Final Cut and don't make it 300 bucks. Like, come on. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, By the way, Apple Watch World merch will be linked in the description below. Are you serious? Um, the shirts are amazing. Um, the quality, I actually tested them out before. They finally arrived. They're amazing. So Apple Watch World merch will be linked down below. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really excited for this new iPad Pro 10. I really, I'm really excited to, to just ditch the home button because not just the iPhone 10 is amazing and I want this into an iPad form. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're feeling awesome, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you are interested in this new iPad Pro 10. So yeah, hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and we will see. That's a butt. Apple, don't show people your butt. No, Apple. Peace. Hey.